After the world had to go into hiding due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the news of the development of a vaccine was widely welcome. In South Africa, the latest part of the rollout is aimed at minors aged 12 to 17 years. However, the news has not been without controversy. This as authorities announced that there would be no need for parental consent. On the streets of Daviton in Ekuruleni, parents have labelled government's decision as unfair. She says that the government is wrong on that one. Why on other things they say it's 18 and above? But with the vaccine, it's 12 years, you can go alone. This means they will inject our children at school without our consent as parents. Then the child will come home sick. Then I would not have a clue what has happened. She says, for me, I do not agree that my child may vaccinate. If so, they decide to go alone. It will be a problem if they come back home with complications and they experience challenges. And I am not aware of what has happened. The decision gives minors the freedom of choice. The tender who turns 12 in a month has made up her mind. I feel like, I feel like not getting the vaccine because I'm scared. Um, I've heard a lot of people saying that people are dying f about dying from vaccine. Yes, so I'm not sure about being vaccinated. While Tatenda is adamant that hers is an independent choice, the 11-year-old's mother is pro-parental consent. I don't feel okay with that because they have to get the permission from the parents because they are their guidance. They have to make decisions on their behalf because they know what is good and what is not good for their kids. So in that case, I think it's a good idea that the, 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 the parents have to make the decision on, on behalf of their children. Experts say it may trigger legal battles, with the courts having to decide how to balance the best interests of the child and parental responsibility. In terms, once again, of the Children's Act, it says that consent is required, but now the government has said, and there's no law to back them up currently, the government has said consent is not required. So what are your rights as a parent? Can you interdict your child? Can you stop your child? In some ways you can certainly can stop your child, but it has to be challenged in court. Currently in terms of the Children's Act, the age of consent is 18. There are certain acts in which uh, the Termination of Pregnancy Act in which consent is not required, but it specifically states so in an act. Mm -hmm. I don't know of any vaccination or anti-vaccination act, as the case may be, that says consent is done away with. Currently, the act where consent is done away with, the Choice of Terminations of Pregnancy Act, uh, the Abortion Act, for want of a better word, it specifically states in the act. For this specific procedure, consent is not required. Yeah, the minister had said, uh, Joe Patla has said on October the 15th, that's Friday, he said that consent is not required, but there's no legislation that backs him up. With the power dynamics between parents and children likely to play out in the courts, legal experts say government may have to enact laws specific to the COVID-19 vaccine. Vaccination for the 12 to 17 year age group is expected to start on Wednesday. Matla Kokoman, SABC News, Johannesburg.